What's up everyone, it's your boy xmanny 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the top 10, my top 10, Marvel Legends of 2019 and what you see here is my honorary mention. So before I get onto my top 10, I just want to show you uh, what could have made the list but I had to show these respect. I got a lot of figures here off my wish list like the X Factor uh, my X-Factor Dream Team, the 90s, uh, Havoc and Polaris, got Scorpion, you know, from the Spider-Man, I always want Scorpion, I love the bendy tail feature, Jean Grey, the Jim Lee, Jean Grey, and Jim Lee Storm from the X-Men Gold Team, so those were definitely needed, and, uh, overall, man, I, oh, Weapon X Wolverine definitely was, like, the most fun I had taking pictures out of any of the figures I had this year, even including the ones from my top 10. Weapon X Wolverine was definitely the one I had the most fun taking pictures of. So uh, these are in no particular order. Now, before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel. I greatly appreciate it. With that said, let's just take off and start with number 10. <laughs> All right, so coming in at number 10, we have Silver Sable, and I know this is not going to be on most people's top 10 or anyone's top 10, but for me, this is a character I've waited for almost 20 years in Legends form, man, since I first began collecting Marvel Legends. It's just one of those figures to check off the wish list. <laughs> coming in at number 9 is Magneto from the Family Matters 3-pack, and uh, most people will have some complaints and gripes about this figure, but, uh, hear me out. In case you don't know how I rank my top 10, it is basically off of fun factor, photography, and also how awesome the figure is. And this is just one of those figures that pushed me to the limits for my photography. It was one of the best picks I've ever taken, if not the best pick, in my opinion, that I've ever taken um so yeah that's where the fun factor comes in for me with this figure and with the apocalypse alt head on this figure he it just makes it look like animated series perfection <laughs> coming in at number eight we have the 80 years classic iron man uh, what can i say about this figure it's has so many fun accessories and that tony stark head is the best comic accurate Tony Stark comic head we've ever gotten in any figure beats all the imports. I know Unparalleled Universe will agree with me that this head beats any of the import uh, Tony Stark heads, including the Mezco ones. Man, this was this was awesome, and I had so much fun taking pictures, uh, especially doing the whole demon in the bottle story arc. I had fun with that. So yeah, if you haven't seen my pics of that, definitely check this guy out. And also, this is the best body buck out of any Iron Man we've ever gotten in Legends form. So just overall, you know, Hasbro killed it with this 80 years line. Coming in at number seven is Thor. This is the perfect, I mean, perfect classic representation. Uh, just done right. It was done right. Uh, Hasbro, they just did it right. I, I don't know what else to say, but the sculpting is amazing. The hammer with the written scripture, you know, Mjolnir, love that. Yeah, overall, this guy's a beast, man. He just feels like the mighty Thor. Uh, yeah, his arms, the helmet, the sculpt, the face sculpt, uh, the way the cape is sculpted, it, it's just beautiful. I love this figure, and it just, I, I just love that I got to complete my classic Avengers team you know, with this guy and that whole 80 years line that they delivered, just amazing. And as I said with Iron Man, this is the best Thor we've ever gotten in Legends form for their comic versions. <laughs> Coming in at number six, we have the Kingpin Shadow King build a figure. Man, this was a great build and just perfectly proportionate to the character. Blows the Toy Biz 1 away. Um, and the Professor X figure, you know, just made this even better with the all head. Just giving it to Shadow King. And when, you know, uh, I got creative and got to use, like, the Monster Venom 
uh, build a figure hands to you know make it look very Shadow King esque. Uh, it just makes it pop even more. This was the best build a figure of 2019. <laughs> Coming in at number five is Nightcrawler, and my god, I I know this is gonna be in everyone's uh, top ten, or at least majority. And if this guy's not in your top five or top ten, then something's wrong with you, man. This guy is super freaking posable. He just has a great look to him. He has the best Nightcrawler heads. Uh, the three all heads were so cool. Blows that stupid Toy Biz one away, man. It had looked like Screech from Saved by the Bell. And if you're trying to compare it to the Toy Biz one, because it doesn't have bendy wire or, uh, you know, uh, articulated toes, then you're selling this figure short because it's still a great figure. We're, we're talking about 2019, we're not talking about 2005 or whatever, whatever, whenever that figure came out. Um, and, I, you know, I, I mean, dude, it's like still poseable. Yeah, it's not bendy, but like still, no matter how, what direction you move it around, it still looks good. And that's what it comes down to. It looks good. If you have a second Nightcrawler, you could give him a second sword so he could do, like, you know, his dual swashbuckling. Um, just overall, he's just freaking amazing. And uh, Articulated Toes, man, don't worry about it. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> if you've seen my review, you've seen the pictures that I pulled off. If you are good with posing action figures, you know, toe articulation wouldn't even matter. You would make it. You'll find a way to make it work and make it look cool. And uh, that's part of what's fun about being an action figure collector, too, you know, it's uh, coming up with ways on how to make them look cool with posing and stuff like that. So, you know, action figure photographer and me, that's that's what it comes down to, man. That's the big fun factor for me. So I really had fun with this guy. Coming in at number four, we have Professor X. And finally, you know, finally, a Professor X in his hover chair. Uh, the hover chair vehicle was a fun build, and um, the accessories coming with the Rebro, I didn't like that freaking, <laughs> that shitty <laughs> telepathic effect, man. That was, uh, oh man, it looked like a jizz effect. That was, that was, they could have done a better job with that, but, you know, that aside, uh, there's no taking away how awesome this figure came out, and this was the character we needed the most for our X-Men collection, no doubt. So, just an awesome figure, and uh, it's just one of those other figures I just check off the wish list, you know, and Hasbro is, uh, they're giving us that, man. They are listening to us. They are giving us the figures that we want. Coming in at number three, we have Dr. Doom, man. <laughs> This Doctor Doom, when it was first revealed, I mean, everybody wanted it. Everyone went crazy, man. I mean, uh, it almost has almost import-like articulation with, like, the double neck joint, uh, the waist, and even, like, the freaking, the, the skirt. There is no hindering. He can actually sit down, as I showed you in my video. It, it is... It is amazing what this figure can do, and the amount of details from his tunic to his armor, the sculpting. I mean, the sculpting. Like, literally, look at the sculpting. This should be in your top three no matter what, man. This is absolutely uh, amazing piece, and I love that you can add the Iron Man effects on the back to port in for his jetpacks. That was really cool. You could put the Victor Von Doom head on him. I like the classic all head. That is almost like everything for me being a big Fantastic Four fan. And uh like his I like his accessories. Good choices, you know, the gun, the alternate hands. Um I just wish that cape was uh, you know, soft goods, but hey, it, it it's all good. I'll find someone to do that. But yeah, definitely this guy was in my top three this year. Love this figure. <laughs> Coming in at number two is the Incredible Hulk 80 Years 2-pack that came with Wolverine. I mean, this is the best Hulk, hands down, uh, in Legends form. This is the best body they ever made. You know, I, finally we get a big massive Hulk with torso articulation. Um, they gave him butterfly joints, which I love. I just wish he could swing it forward, man. There's one thing I've always wanted is to make Hulk do a thunderclap. That's that's all I ever wanted in a Hulk figure. But man, I, I mean, I'm taking this. I'm very appreciative with what we have here. Uh, you know, he's just massive and he just feels Hulk-like and it just, 
This makes my Avengers shelf pop even more. Man, I am so happy with how this figure came out. And, uh, you know, the alt hands, you can actually have a Hulk displayed with, you know, two open hands or two fists because we want our Hulk smashing things with his fist or, you know, grabbing stuff. And it's just... This is this is just Hulk perfection, man. I, 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 I love it. Again, uh, well, I don't want to say perfect, perfect, but because I wanted a thunderclap. But still, you know what I mean, man. It's just amazing. I like the white uh, shirt accessory. That was really cool, man. But this guy is an absolute beast and deserves the number two spot. He almost came close to number one, but I will give you my big reason for number one. And coming in at number one, if you followed me all year, you pretty much know that this guy was gonna end up number one. It is Beast. I mean, the big reason is import articulation for $20. Enough said. You cannot beat that. I mean, this is what this is what this guy offers you, man. He has import like articulation with the double ab crunch. You know, people want lightning collection articulation. You know, uh, you know from the Power Rangers on Legends. Well, here you go. He has more than that. You know, he has the toe articulation and drop down thigh selection. That is huge, man. Uh, I would like to see that in future, you know, some future Legends figures. But yeah, the posability factor with this guy is top notch. And the the face sculpt, you know, they were going for that Jim Lee comic book sculpt. I absolutely love it. Would have been cool to get like an animated series head, you know, with the glasses. That would have been nice. But I, again, I knew what they were going for here. And it is executed beautifully. So this guy deserves the number one spot. Alright guys, so this was my top 10 comic based Marvel Legends figures of 2019. And I want to know what's your top 10. Your list is your list, so let me know. I'd always like to hear and, and, and see what are people's top 10. I might do a top 10 MCU 2019 figures list. I'm not sure. I kind of want to do something different. Maybe like a top 10 Marvel Legends females list. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to do a top 10 just overall action figure list of everything that I collect. But, you know... Uh, I'll, I'll see how that goes. If I don't do a video, I'll probably post it on Instagram or something like that. I want to share something cool like that with you. But uh, yeah, anyway, just uh, give me your top 10 list of whatever. Let's just chat about it in the comment section below. And all I got to say is that this list was incredibly hard to come up with. Uh, every figure, I feel like Marvel Legends just absolutely killed it this year, man. Hasbro killed it this year. And uh, we are definitely living in the best times, the best years of Marvel Legends. And in my opinion, actually, yeah, this was the most fun I ever had collecting Marvel Legends. In the 20 years since this line's existence, this was the most fun I ever had collecting Marvel Legends this year. Again, now I kick it back to you guys. What is your top 10? What was your favorite line that you collected this year? And uh, please drop a like rating on the video. Leave a comment, we'll chat about it, and see you next year. Happy New Year's. Peace, peace.